welcome back to my channel if you are new here. Hello, beautiful people. So today we're gonna to be talking about Scorpios. Hello, Scorpio. Um, you guys are really passionate. It's okay, we're gonna keep it going because I got shit to do. Scorpio, hey y'all. I know a lot of y'all, so hey, hey, hey. Um, Scorpio is ruled by Pluto and Mars. Pluto is super intense, passionate, the depths of a person. Mars is a su superficial, um, it's also, it also rules Aries. So, you know, it's superficial passion. So you not only have deep passion, but you got surface level passion. So you guys are just like overall intense. Um, so a characteristic about Scorpios, they are very, very emotional, but Will we ever see this trait? I mean, will we? Y'all let me know in the comments below. Because y'all are so secretive. Y'all are mysterious. You just want everybody to think y'all are mystic and like private. And y'all are very private individuals. Like no one will know anything unless when you're trying to speak your mind because you feel like you're right. Then we'll know. But other than that, we won't know. We don't know how you really feel. And it's okay to let us know that you're feeling a different way. You know, we want to hear you expressing yourselves, but it's just like, it's, it's almost like you guys don't trust us. You don't trust us, do you? Y'all secretively, like, y'all the ones that be the FBI's, be stalking and shit, because y'all don't trust. I don't know where people get this idea that Scorpios can't be monogamous or they um, aren't loyal, because that's definitely not true. Um, I guess that's with them being so private, you really don't know how they're feeling. Um, I get their songs about them being freaky deaky. You know, I get it, and that's true, that's facts. Um, but also, they are very compassionate and loyal to a fault almost. They will settle with someone who is beneficial to them, you know, like who fits their needs and who they really, really love and they feel that like they can trust. Or they have this long, like, endured passion history with usually these people that that scorpios are with it's kind of like an intense atmosphere it has to be something like super drawn out and passionate and like i've conquered the world for you and i came back and you're still here and i love you for that like it's super like intense these people are also very affectionate they will kiss you all over make you feel so good on the inside and like um, lovey-dovey and that's important you know that's important especially for someone that's super practical I think they would um, this water sign would pair great with an air sign I typically attract a lot of Scorpio energy because of my Taurus rising because we're complementary opposites towards each other so um, Taurus, the rising sign is how you're presented to the world or how the world views you. And so I have a Taurus nature about me um, and Scorpios are just naturally attracted, you know, to me. They're like, hey, oh, oh, hey, you seem like somebody that I can love and not tell anything. And it's like, yay, hey, no thank you. So another trait about Scorpios, they will get angry pretty quickly and it'll be about nothing to you. I mean, nothing to you, you know, because they've been working up this within, so you don't know what's really going on half the time. And then they'll just get upset, but it's it's built up usually. It's never just like a thing. Um, but it seems like a thing to us because we don't know what's going on with them. Um, but yeah, they get angry and you don't want to see them when they're angry. They're When I tell you it's so much passion and aggression and, Ooh, passive aggressive. Is that a Scorpio? Find out next in Dragon Ball Z. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Um. <laughs> Good. Get it out. All right. So to sum up this video, Scorpios, you guys are freaking deep, man. Y'all are deeper than Pisces. You know. I, I, okay. Okay, hold on, because I have a Pisces moon, so I'm not going to say that, because we get really deep. But you guys are like neck and neck, honestly. You guys, <laughs> whoo, y'all are deep, honey. And it's beautiful. Embrace that. Um, hopefully, y'all can open up a little bit more. Just 
a tad. But if not, just be you and unapologetically just shine. You know what I mean? Like just do what you feel is necessary to survive and to cope with all those emotions that you feel. All right. Until next time, lovers. See ya.